Guys, if you wouldn't watch my Instagram, uh, I was explaining that GM Tim 38, I'm at his house, uh, at his garage, inside his garage. He just recently built this summer. Isn't it nice? But he recently purchased this 78 GMC. I keep calling it 79. I don't know why, but it's a 78 GMC truck. There's a couple of things on this truck that's very unusual about it, and I'm going to get y'all's opinion on it. I like this uh, cargo lot, by the way. We'll, we'll look it over real quick, but before I forget, I'm going to mention a couple of things about the truck that's pretty interesting. First of all is this radio. It's a factory digital radio, factory, with cassette. I've never seen one before that was digital. And so I'm going to hold this phone next to it, and you can kind of look at it. Here we go. Never seen one before like this that was digital from a, a 78 model GMC. So uh, he said they made another one like kind of like this radio that would, had the CB in it. Remember, remember in 78, 77, 78, you know, Smokey and the Bandit and everybody had a CB and all that stuff. So it's this is pretty unusual radio. Oh, my goodness. But this is a really nice GMC truck. He just got it, and he's just been piddling with it for the moment. I like this door edge guard. Something else I was going to ask you real quick, if you don't care. Oh, it's got, some of this stuff has NOS parts on it. These, these headlight bezels. And uh, the rear bumper is NOS bumper on it but it's got a little dent right there but he can easily fix that but this is nos i mean brand new nos stuff real unusual this is a nice truck check out these mirrors nos the, the guy that he bought the truck from has a whole bunch of nos stuff and uh you know i did, it's just unusual to find it. he's got bunches of this NOS stuff. He's changed the grill and I think I have a GMC grill that's in decent shape and uh, I'll let him put it in this truck. He's wanting to get rid of this. He said he, uh, his friend done this stuff in the 90s and that was the thing to do back then. I was guilty of it too. I mean, nothing wrong with it. It's unusual. Makes it look a little bit different without having to do a lot of cutting out and stuff, you know. But uh, I think he's wanting it to kind of look somewhat original. Uh, here's the other thing before I forget it, because I'm absent-minded. But is this, this is cruise control. It says, uh, I'm having to read it upside down, speed control. I don't know if, uh, Brian, that's GM Tim, uh, GM Tim 38 on YouTube. Ch check out his channel, GM Tim 38. He was wanting to know if this was a factory or was this aftermarket. And I don't know what all those springs are. I just not seen them. There's a lot of things on this truck that are very, very unusual. I like these valve covers. They look good. It's a really nice truck, AC truck. Of course, it's a GMC. But they started, they started restoring it, you know, fixing it up kind of stuff. But, I, you know, sometimes life happens and you don't get finished this thing has a a cowl hood on it i'm gonna try to uh oh hang on just a minute well i'll just show you it's not my truck so i'm not going to mess with it but i'm thinking about buying this cowl hood from him because he's wanting to put a stock hood on and uh i don't know what i'll do with it it's, it's just i don't have one so i thought well what the heck so i might might put it on Billy James. I don't, I'm not sure. Billy James is kind of a, Billy James, if you're not familiar with Billy James, I have a 78 Chevy short bed truck that was left for dead. And it didn't have a motor transmission and every body part on it was, every body part on my truck was just beat all to crap. So, uh, 
it's got a bunch of mismatched parts on it. And if you look at my videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. I've got a lot of videos on Billy James. My point being, I think I might buy this uh, hood and stick it on Billy James just because, just because I've never had one before. Some people might like them. Some people might probably won't. I'm not a big fan, but I mean, I've just never had one before. So I might, might get this hood from, from him if he'll... Let me have it uh, where I can afford it. I don't like to take advantage of friendships. I mean, you know, you gotta gotta do the best you can. Everybody does. Uh, let's look at the passenger side real quick. If this door's not locked, but it's a Sierra Classic. Really nice truck. Dual tanks. It, it's an AC truck. It's got a pretty Pretty decent old seat in it too. I really, I really like this truck, and I like it too because it. Uh, Y'all might disagree with me, but I like manual windows. Oh my, I like them much better than power windows. Boy, that door shuts, shuts, shuts good. I like that. Anyway, I like the door edge guard. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know why. It's got a Chevrolet. Uh, piece right here, but it's a GMC, but if I have a GMC, I'm gonna let Brian have it He's my buddy So we kind of we kind of do things together if I've got something That he needs it belongs to him then and he, he does me the same way. We're just really good friends And that's what friends is for Let's look at the inside of this bed Pretty nice bed I like that sliding glass back window too. That's always nice, especially if the AC doesn't work <laughs> Oh, but like I said, it's got cruise and a tilt. You know, it's a GMC. Oh, it's got the wipers. I think Billy James has this that you can turn it and the wipers. You know, you can kind of go on how uh, you know the speed of the wipers. Yeah, that Billy James has this. I think next time I go over at Gas X Chop Shop with Tim, I'll I'll look at Billy James again. Right now, it's up on the rack getting work done to it so but i'm proud i'm proud brian got this truck this is a good little old truck and uh i'm proud that he got it anyway i i hope that y'all enjoyed the video please check out gm tim 38 on youtube he's got a he's got a way with trucks and cars that he's an excellent mechanic and he makes them look good too this is a pretty i gotta tell you this is a pretty clean truck still got all the jack accessories in it jack and the wrench and everything is what i'm trying to say it's a really nice truck i, I like it a lot anyway hope you enjoyed the video like i said please like and subscribe if you would. Tell your friends you found a channel that that's got. I kind of I kind of enjoy talking about cars and trucks that people can actually afford to get. People like me, sometimes anyway, you know stuff that needs a little work or something that's left for dead, you know, out in the woods, out out in a field. I've had them all left in a left in a barn. I've had left out in a field i've had you know a fix and get pushed off into a ditch and uh, just anything you can think of that's the kind of vehicles i'm attracted to something that someone like me can afford hope maybe you too you know you don't have to have spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on something that's already restored you can have fun see you can jump in this truck right here and just take off down the road be fine uh, he said it runs really good. So, anyway, oh, I just noticed these two. I really like. I really like little things like this. It makes things pop. I use that word pop to make it sound better. But I don't know what his plans are with this truck. But kind of hope someday I wind up with it. But who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I hope you enjoy. That's I was explaining to you about my channel. I, I kind of like stuff like this or in really bad, much worse than this is what I'm trying to say. So hopefully you will subscribe and 
keep up with some of the stuff that I get into sometimes. Hey, y'all have a great day. I didn't mean to talk so much. Have a great day. God bless each and every one of y'all. Appreciate you watching the video. Tell your friends. I'm also on Instagram, Primer is Best, and I have a second YouTube channel. Sorry. Second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. And I'm on Instagram on Man on a Budget with the number one behind it. Man on a Budget 1. I'm on Facebook, Primer is Best as well. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless each and every one of y'all. Appreciate you watching. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll see you there. Please subscribe. See you later.